not my, I don't have anything in my pack, that's why I can whip it around like this. But I can actually take the umbrella, twirl it around. toss it around, it is not coming off of this pack. Hey there, so <laughs> back again. I made another improvement today in my backpacking umbrella that is uh, hands-free and head-free. I, I went out in the wind today. There's advisories for 20 mile an hour winds. You may hear it a little bit and see some of the trees moving. It's not as bad as it was this morning and my umbrella wasn't working as well as I wanted to. So I have it right here, and I made some other improvements. For one thing, if I need to deploy the umbrella, I just pull the string, and both of the poles go up simultaneously. So that's easier. Plus, having this cord coming here allows me to uh, actually Uh, find the cord pretty easily and what I want to do here is uh, I'm going to wrap it around the poles a little bit to keep it away from my head. Here's the umbrella. I've shortened the tubing here and I want to show you the another detail that I did to this umbrella. I'll come up close here. What I've done here is the part that moves up and down, let me put that in the camera view, the part that moves up and down, that normally the shaft would go from here through here, is the snow basket. I've added, rather than the hair tie, I put a split key ring here between this hole in the snow basket, so that's the opposite of where it's attached to the center of the umbrella. And this stay that is moving up and down, we'll call this a short stay versus this is the long stay. And I put a mitten hook here. The reason I put a mitten hook here is that when this goes in, this, first of all, the, the, the ring prevents it from moving back and forth very much. If it's over here, it gives room for a trekking pole to go in. And if it's over here, it's centered. This mitten hook is going to be used to hold the whole thing onto the poles with this cord that I have right here. So if I come up here, I look up, there's the wind. And I look up and I put this here. And I attach the side cords to the sternum strap here and here what I found with the wind blowing is that this whole umbrella would lift off and try to fly away but now that I have this cord I can just come up here and snap it into the mitten hook and now it, it can't actually be can't actually fly away it can't come off now all of these side cords uh, they're, since they're tied together they're, the poles move up and down and this cord now by having it wrapped around these poles doesn't uh, touch my head otherwise if it just went straight from here up it would touch my head you have to have the length of these cords adjusted right otherwise it's not going to be snug at the top but now that it's like this i'll go to step out in the wind and there should be no issues with the umbrella staying on my head no matter what so i have these attachment points in the front these attachment points in the back and this cord here in the center pulling down on the top I thought I'd also use this opportunity to uh, show
show you how this umbrella doesn't interfere with taking off your pack. I'll just take my pack off like this. <laughs> I don't have anything in my pack, that's why I can whip it around like this. But I can actually take the umbrella, twirl it around. toss it around, it is not coming off of this pack. So clearly you wouldn't want to do that, uh, but now let me do a close up of this. So I have uh, pulled the cords tight here, wrapped it around here, and then coming up to the top, I said that this would uh, come across and attached to the mitten hook and so that's how it is so this this guy is solid on this pack especially if i put the pack on my back and uh use the uh cinch up the hip belt and the and the uh, sternum strap <laughs>